Have you ever wondered why every once in a while at church, people eat a small piece of bread and drink a tiny bit of juice? Is it just snack time or is there more to it than that? Well, this has a lot of different names, but for today, we'll call it communion. And communion is something that the church has done for thousands of years. But what exactly is communion? Why do we do it? To answer that, we should look all the way back at the very first communion. Before Jesus went to the cross, he had one last meal with his disciples. While they were all there, Jesus took a cup and told his disciples to divide it among themselves. Then he broke up some bread into smaller pieces and gave a piece to each of his disciples. When Jesus had them all take and eat the bread, he said, this is my body. The bread represented his body that would be broken. When they all took the cup, Jesus told them, this is my blood. The cup represented his blood that was going to be poured out as a sacrifice for them on the cross. When they ate the bread and drank the cup, he told his disciples, do this in remembrance of me. This is why we take communion, to remember Jesus and what he did for us. The bread and the cup are physical symbols that Jesus gave us to remind ourselves of something much bigger that he did for us. So let's talk about the bread for a second. This isn't the first time that Jesus compared himself to bread. In John 6:48, he said, I am the bread of life. What he meant by that was, just like our physical bodies need food to stay alive, our spirits need food too. Otherwise, they'll starve. When we eat the bread, we should remember that just like physical food sustains our physical lives, Jesus sustains us spiritually. Without Jesus, our spiritual bread, we would starve. Also, just like the bread that he broke and handed to his disciples, his body was about to be broken. Because Jesus' body was broken, they could be made whole. The same is true for us. When we eat the bread, we should remember that Jesus' body was broken the day he went to the cross. Because of that, we can have healing. Not just physical healing, but emotional healing and spiritual healing as well. Jesus was broken, just like the bread, so that we could be made whole. Now, let's talk about that cup. Back before Jesus came to earth, when people sinned, the only way to be right with God was to sacrifice an animal that had no imperfections. That may sound kind of weird, but that's how seriously God views sin. The Bible says that the cost of sin is death. So every time they sinned, they had to sacrifice another animal, and even still, they weren't changed on the inside. But all of those sacrifices with their emphasis on blood were a picture of the real sacrifice that would be coming and would change people from the inside. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus was that perfect sacrifice. When we drink the cup, we should remember that it is only because of Jesus' blood that we are able to be born again into God's family. Without Jesus' sacrifice, we would be doomed to be separated from God forever because of our sin. So the bread and the cup are just a physical way to remind us of the amazing thing that Jesus did for us. First and foremost, communion is a time to remember. Remember what Jesus did for you. Remember that only he can sustain you spiritually and that his body was broken so that you could be made whole. Also, remember that his blood was spilled to pay the price for your sins so that you could be a part of God's family. Communion is also a time to examine ourselves. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 11:28 that we should examine ourselves before we take communion. Communion's a serious deal. We need to take it with the right attitude. This is a good time to ask yourself questions like, is there something that I need to ask forgiveness for? If so, now's the time to do that. Or maybe ask yourself, am I living a life that brings honor to the broken body and the blood that Jesus spilled for me? If not, take the time to ask forgiveness and commit to living a life that brings honor to Jesus before taking communion. Communion is a great time to examine ourselves. 